Okay, so if you looked in the mirror, that good clock, one thirty. What? Which which of the following would you see? So let's draw clock. Okay, and one thirty would be so this is one six thirty. Okay, so we have a nice mirror line here. Okay, so it's reflected on the mirror line. So the reflection would be here. Pen here and here. So we're looking for that picture. So I will be going for um, E. Okay, so we have our cube. Let's try to draw a nice cube. This is my cube. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at this. Okay, so let's make this it's A. Okay, so we've got this line here, and this is going to be X. Okay, so the other side has to be, um, this back of it will be B. Okay, and we're looking for, so to be, so if the back is B, uh, what would be to the left of B? Let's have a look at this. Um, so to the sides of B, we'll be have, we have C and C and E. There's one of them will be C and one of them will be E. Okay, and the other thing which will be left over will be at the bottom, which will be D. So the bottom is D, and left and the right hand side would be left will go from C, and the right hand side will be E. Okay. So answer will be D. A triangle QRS, which is isosceles and right angles. Okay, so we have a right angle triangle. Let's draw it. Okay, this is the S, that's the Q, this is the R. If this is 90, this has to be 45. This has to be 45. Okay, so remember isosceles means you've got two angles the same and two sides the same. So it's isosceles as well. So we have P, what's happening to P? P is reflected. Firstly, it's reflected on the side QR. Okay, so when it's reflected, it will look something like this. Okay, QR. Then it's reflected on uh, QS. Okay, it's reflected, it's a mirror line. So it will look something like this. Okay. And then, okay, it is reflected, um, it's reflected um, on the line um, SR, okay. Okay, so here it will look just like the shape here. Okay, so which, um, so which one would it be? A, B, C, D, or E? It will be A. Okay, so we have this die, and we have the one, which is actually going to be facing the table. So let's draw this die with the one facing the table. Okay, so the ones on the table. Okay, at the top. The ones on the table. Uh, at the top will be six since the sum of the opposite sides equals seven. Uh, this has been rotated around, so one's gone underneath, so the two will be here, and the opposite side will be five since the sum of the opposite sides equals seven. Uh, 
it's, it's been round, rotated this direction. So the three and its opposite will be the same, so it'll be four. Okay, next, uh, the two is now on, on the bottom. So again, it's rolling around. Two is on the bottom. So the two is on the bottom. Okay, its opposite number is five. Okay, and here it's been rolling around since the six was on, on the top, the six is going to be on the side now. And its opposite number is one. And three, and its opposite number, which is four, is going to be there. Okay. And then afterwards we have three now on the bottom. So before it was like rolling this way. Now it's going to be rolling this way. There's this, there's this two and three are going to be moving around. And we have the uh, three on the bottom. So we have three on the bottom. Let's draw this. So we've got three on the bottom. Uh, since five was on top, this five is going to be here. Uh, the opposite of three is uh, four. And we have uh, six and opposite number one. Okay. Now finally, uh, we have five on the bottom. So it's going to roll in this way. So five on the bottom. Let's draw it. So we have five down the bottom. Opposite number is going to be two. Okay, four was on the top, but four is now is going to be here. And its opposite number is three. And here we've got six and one. When we look at the one, one is facing this is the westerly direction. This one is facing the westerly direction. So our answer is A.